Hey everyone! Puppet Pals 2 is a creative application that lets you design your own animated cartoons. Let me show you how you could use this app for projects in various subject areas. It's super easy and lots of fun to use. Press play right over here woo! to start your project. Alright, now you need to choose a location or the backdrop of your animation. You can select a location from the different options presented. Here's an underwater one, there's a space one, a uh, desert one, and let's look at the city one here. Okay, just to show you, this is our city scene, and it's a scrolling scene. As you can see, um, I am walking on the sidewalk, or if uh, and the character gets closer as you drag your finger down the screen. What's really cool about this app is the fact that you can choose your own location by taking a picture with your device or selecting a picture from the camera roll. Just select this little icon here in Photos. Here are your options. You could take a photo or even choose a photo from your camera roll. Using the camera on your device, and depending on the story you wish to tell, you could take a photo of your location that you wish for your project. This is our school. You could take a photo of a drawing, perhaps that you did for a background. Or even a picture that you took in a newspaper or book or magazine which you can then fit to your screen. Ah. Here's a pro tip. <laughs> Let's say for your project you need an image of the Yukon College as a background. Using your browser you could find one online and take a snapshot of the page. Whoops, let's say you really like this one here. This picture here. Just, just select it. There we go, this is the perfect image for your project. You could take a snapshot by pressing the home and power button at the same time. And voila, the screenshot is added to your camera roll which you can adapt for your animation. Okay, once you have selected an image, you can scale your screen to remove the unwanted areas, like here. The next step will be to select the horizon line. Finally, you'll be asked to size the actor in relation to the horizon line. The horizon line is very important. As you drag your finger down the screen, your character gets bigger. As you drag it up towards the top of your screen, your character gets smaller. Now the fun begins. By pressing the character icon just here, you can add multiple characters to your animation. You could add Shakespeare, George Washington, a fireman, whichever character that best suits your animation. If you if you add characters and then realize that there's one that doesn't fit, simply drag it to the bottom right of your screen where there's a garbage can or a bin that will appear. This doesn't belong here. The profile icon right up here is where you can modify actors or even add someone's face. You might recognize this familiar face. You can even take a picture of a character in a magazine or book. Simply press that little blue camera icon to start. To make the characters talk, simply press on the characters as you talk in your microphone. You can make multiple characters talk by pressing them all at the same time. To record, simply press the red button at the top right corner of your screen. Right here. You could also pause your recording by pressing pause up there. This will allow you to change scenes and add different characters. 
by pressing the icons at the top of the screen here. When you're done recording, press the square button right here at the top of the screen. If you're happy with your video, select the green select the green check mark. Then add a title and press save. To access your videos, simply go to the main page right here and sel and select saved. All of your saved videos will be on this page. Select this icon here if you want to export a specific video. You can airdrop your video or select here, right here, save video. This will send this video to your camera roll. And from there, you can use iMovie to stitch multiple animations together. That's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Goodbye. Yes, it was very helpful.